Hi, I'm Scoop from Scoop Magic and welcome to Party Tricks. This is the place to come to learn tricks and stunts to freak out your friends and make you the life and soul of the party. For this trick you will need some sticky notes, a stapler and a head. And that's it. So while your friends are off photocopying various parts of their anatomy, chatting people up or insulting the boss, this is what you'll be doing to get ready for this stunt. Step 1. Peel off a sticky note. Step 2. Put a staple at the top and stick it back onto the pad. Step 3. This is the most important step. Take the rest of the staples out of the stapler. Do not forget to do this. Make sure the stapler is definitely empty. And now you're ready to go. Show your friends the sticky pad with the stapler hidden. The staple hidden underneath the thumb, just like that. Peel off a nut, hold it to your head, still keeping that staple hidden. Take your stapler, put it to your head, and gently whack that staple in there. Don't do that too hard. There is still jaggedy metal against your head. And then you reveal that you stapled the post-it note to your head. Then dance the rest of the night away as the legend slash moron who stapled his own head at the office party. Enjoy. Bonus tip. Here it is. If you want to add just a hint of gore to the trick, use a red biro to draw a little bit of blood around the staple. Okay, so just a little bit just round there. Do remember to use a red pen, not green, not blue, not unless you want the X-Files fans in the office to believe you're an alien human hybrid, okay? Or just that you've got pen on the thing rather than blood, all right? You want to make it look like you've actually just done a little bit of damage to your forehead, like that. There we go. And that is enough to make people think you've actually stapled a post-it note to your forehead. If you want, you could go overboard. I don't know. Go wild. Do all that if you want. But I, I don't think that really looks as convincing. So just, probably in this case, less is more. But that is your bonus tip. Next time you're in the pub, Get your friend a round of drinks that you can balance a pint glass on the edge of a banknote using no tricks, extra props, just using skill and precision. They will inevitably try and do it themselves before they take the bet. They'll see that it's no matter how much you fold the banknotes or anything you do. There's, 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 there's no way that it's actually possible. So they will take the bet, and if you follow my instructions, you will win the bet every single time. For this, you will need a banknote and a glass. And that's it. This trick works with both plastic and paper notes, so you can do this using any note anywhere in the world. You can also use a smaller glass if you like, but a pint glass seems more impossible because it's so big and heavy, so it seems more likely that your friend, your mark, will uh, take the bet because it seems so impossible. However, a Steiner might be a bit big, okay? So a pint glass is ideal. After your victim has tried and failed to balance the glass on the edge of the note, 
when they're well and truly sucked into the bet, convinced you are going to fail. All you've got to do is roll the 20 pound notes, or any notes, whatever it is, roll the notes around your finger and give it a little squeeze because those, especially with the plastic notes, they really want to spring open. Give it a little squeeze so you've got a little tune like that. Put the glass on top. This still does take a little bit of skill. It's definitely not easy. Very carefully balance the glass on the edge of the note, just like that, and you have won your bet. All that remains now is to send your friend to the bar. Here's a bonus tip. When you get good at doing this, when you've practiced it a few times, it can be tempting to want to fill the glass up, to do it with a full glass of beer to make it even more impossible. Uh, but trust me, this is it's, it's really not a good idea to do that, okay? Uh, chances are it probably will go right, but if it does go wrong, I can tell you from experience, it's, it's not good, <laughs> okay? It's a real mess, especially if you're at somebody's house party with nice carpets. Really not a good idea. Don't do it. Hey, have you heard about that promotion thing that Strongbow are doing? Yeah, apparently like every thousandth beer mat, they've hidden a 20 euro note. All you've got to do is kind of break open the beer mat and then tear apart like the layers of cardboard. And if you're very, very lucky, look at that. Hopefully, you'll find, can you see that? A 20 euro note. Results. For this trick, you will need a beer mat and a banknote. And that's it. This works with absolutely any cardboard beer mat. It doesn't matter if it's round, whatever size or shape it is, no matter what brand it is, uh, as long as it's a cardboard beer mat, uh, you are good to go. Uh, you can also use absolutely any banknote. I've used a 20 euro note, uh, but you can use absolutely any banknote in the world. Paper ones are very slightly easier, but the plastic ones are fine. You can even use a coin if you're feeling a little bit skint. Okay, so before you show this trick to your friends, you're gonna to need to go off somewhere secret, maybe off to the toilet or away from whoever you're gonna show this trick to and secretly fold up your banknote and hide it in your hand. I grip it between the knuckles of my middle and ring finger like that. And that way you can even show your hands like that and it looks like they're completely empty. Nobody's gonna suspect you've got anything in your hands. Uh, then whenever you're ready, you just pick up the beer mat and kind of hold the note between the beer mat and your fingers. You can show it all the way around then really freely and it looks like you're just holding a beer mat. You say something along the lines of, hey, there's a promotion, one in every thousand beer mats has got a 20 euro note in it, or whatever note or coin you're using. Uh, and then you just fold the beer mat from top to bottom and grip the note kind of between the folds of the beer mat. Okay, so this is an exposed view so you can see what's going on. You're gonna grip it like that. Okay, but you've got to make sure, be very, very careful that your friends don't see you doing it. Okay, so it's not a good idea to have it like that. Maybe hold it horizontally and just fold it like that and grip the 20 pound note. You'll see that the cardboard kind of starts to break apart. You then fold it into quarters like that. And you're ready to go. You can show your hands completely empty. It just looks like you've folded up a beer mat, but there's a 20 euro note or whatever note hidden inside those creases. And then you just start plucking away at the cardboard. You can really take your time with this. It kind of builds up the tension. And you don't have to keep track of exactly whereabouts in the creases your, your note is. Just keep on ripping on that cardboard until you find it. Just be careful, obviously, don't rip the banknote. <laughs> okay, and eventually you'll start to feel or see your banknote. And you just grab hold of it start pulling it out and it really looks like it's coming out from between the layers of cardboard. Pull it out nice and slowly, just like that. Throw the B 
beat your mat down, unfold your newfound wealth, and before you know it, all your friends will be running around the pub, ripping up beer mats, trying to find their own 20 euro note. Enjoy! For this trick, you will need a napkin and a rose. And that's it. Now I'm using a fake plastic rose. You can use a real one if you like, but please remember the words of 90s hair rock band Poison. Every rose has its thorn and nobody likes a little prick. So just be careful if you are going to use a real rose. If you come to the restaurant unprepared and you don't have your own rose with you, ask the management, ask the waiter, they might be able to source one for you. Start off with the rose on your lap, hidden behind the edge of the table. Just like that. That way you've got your hands empty so you can enjoy your evening until you are ready to start the trick. When you're ready, you just show your paramour your napkin. That is misdirection. While you're doing that with one hand, your other hand is sneaking behind the edge of the table to grab hold of the rose. Now try to do this in one quick, smooth motion because fiddling around there too long kind of doesn't look good on a date, okay? So just wave that napkin and grab the rose. You're gonna grab it by the petal end with your little ring and middle fingers, leaving your pointy finger and your thumb free with the stem of the rose going along your wrist and forearm just like that so it's hidden from the front. So here we go you uh, wave the napkin grab the rose and then you're going to hold on to the top corners of the napkin with your thumb on forefinger on both hands. Show both sides just like that give it a little wave if you like and then wrap the napkin around your hand and grab hold of the stem of the rose right there. Keep that motion going, make the rose appear just like that. Now I'm going to give you an exposed view so you can see exactly what is going on. So I'm holding on to the napkin, the rose is in the hand, there's the stem just there. I'm going to show both sides of the napkin, give a little wave, wrap the napkin around the hand and grab hold of the stem right there. Okay, I'm going to keep that motion going and make the rose appear just like that. One more time from the front. Rose in the hand, pointer finger and thumb free, holding onto the napkin just like that. Showing both sides, wrapping all the way around, grab that stem, make it appear, give it a little sniff for no reason whatsoever, if it's a plastic rose, hand it over to your now love struck date and enjoy the rest of your evening. Hey, I bet you a round of drinks that I can predict heads or tails on this coin 10 times in a row. Are we on? Let's go for it. Okay, first one I think is going to be heads. Yes, good start. We've got the first one right out of the way. Here we go. Second one is heads again. Yes, heads again. Look at that, two in a row. Oh, this time it is tails. Tails it is. There we are. We've got the hat trick. Heads again. Yes. Heads again. Four down. Heads. Yes. That is number five. Tails. Yes. That is six. Four more to go. Tails. That is seven. 
um, heads. That is number eight heads. It is two to go. Oh. Tails. Yes. <laughs> One more to go for the full house. I think tail. No heads. Heads. Yes, it is heads. There we go. Go get those drinks in. Thank you. For this, you will need a coin. And that's it. Now I'm using a British two pound coin. Uh, if you're in the States, a, a quarter is just as good of your anywhere else in the world. What you want is a coin that is smooth on one side and rough on the other. And therein lies the secret. And now for the method. It's really, really simple. Once you know that the tail side of a two pound coin or a US quarter is really rough and the head side is actually really smooth. Nobody ever notices this, but once you've actually examined it and felt it a bit, you will feel that it's actually quite obvious. So all you've got to do is flip the coin in the air, catch it with one hand and very quickly just feel with your thumb whether it's the smooth side or the rough side. Whatever you feel, so I'm feeling the rough side now, I know the tail side is going to be up. When I slap it down in my hand, the head side is going to be up. So you've just got to say the opposite of what you feel. And you'll be right every single time. Try not to look at your hands or at the coin at any point during this trick. Because if you look at it when you caught it or when you've got it down on your hand, your spectator is just going to think that you're somehow glimpsed at the coin and you see which way around it is. So try to do it without looking at all and then just say whether it's gonna be heads or tails. Uh, another little tip is to leave a little bit of a pause uh, between putting the coin on your hand and saying whether it's heads or tails. Uh, this is time misdirection. It's a bit of a gap between you actually doing the funny business and doing the magic in the eyes of the spectator. And it makes it really hard for them to backtrack and figure out how you could possibly know whether it's heads or tails. It also adds a little bit of drama if you do something like this, like, ooh, I feel the spirits are telling me. The vibrations, the psychic powers in the air <laughs> are telling me that this coin is tails. And then reveal that it is. Here's a bonus tip. If your spectator thinks that somehow the secret lies within how you are tossing the coin or that you are somehow secretly glimpsing at the coin to find out whether it's heads or tails, get them to toss the coin. You can even be blindfolded if you like. Get them to toss the coin, put it in your hand and you'll still be able to use your psychic powers to uh, tell whether it's heads or tails. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you have fun with this trick. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out. Don't forget to like and share this video and please subscribe so you can learn more party tricks.